Hello everybody, and a very warm welcome to LMT YouTube channel. Meghan Markle has gone back to Canada, where she left baby Archie behind for the pair's bombshell royal exit announcement, a source revealed. She flew back after just three days in the UK leading Harry to hold crisis talks with the Queen, Prince Charles and Prince William on their split from the royal family. Meghan will rejoin eight-month-old Archie in Vancouver and is expected to stay there for the foreseeable future. Prince Harry is staying in Britain to host the Rugby League World Cup 2021 draw next week. It is thought the pair didn't want their son to suffer jet lag flying 10 hours to and from Canada inside five days. A source said it was only a flying visit from Meghan. She wanted to get back home to Archie. He is thought to have been left with his nanny while his parents traveled to the UK. It comes as a Buckingham Palace source revealed the quickie divorce could take days not weeks as staff were ordered to unravel difficulties resolving Meghan and Harry's future as fast as possible. Her Majesty today led a crunch meeting of the four households as she dialed in from Sandringham, Charles from Scotland, William on the phone in London and Harry speaking from home in Windsor. The Queen was left deeply upset by Prince Harry and Meghan's announcement they are quitting as senior royals and moving to North America. No other members of the royal family were consulted before the shock statement was issued last night and the hurt monarch was taken by surprise. The tension and distraction overshadowed Kate Middleton's 38th birthday celebrations as many royals gathered at Kensington Palace today. Today, a source revealed the Queen, the Prince of Wales and the Duke of Cambridge have directed their teams to work together at pace with governments and the Sussex household to find workable solutions. They added, it's expected to take days not weeks. Harry and Meghan announced they will be financially independent in their new lives but will still support the Queen and likely take money from Prince Charles Duchy of Cornwall Estate. It comes after it was revealed the Queen reportedly learned of the announcement when the news broke on TV, and Charles and William only got a statement copy ten minutes before it went live. And even the Sussex's own aides were said to be stunned, as they had been kept in the dark and felt stabbed in the back as the new website was suddenly launched. I've talked to a lot of people over the last few weeks uh, and asked them what they think is wrong, and everybody says, Megan. Nobody says it's the media, nobody says it's racism. I don't see any racism. I've never seen any racism in our paper towards Meghan. I don't see that at all. I see people embrace them. I see people uh, want to come and look at them, photograph them. Just uh, and, and, and Harry's, when he's on his own, I remember recently being in Luton with him at a school. He was fantastic with the kids there. Absolutely fantastic. In fact, um, I took one of the great best pictures ever of Harry with his, all these kids hugging him. And it was and it, and it was and it was good stuff, and that was what Harry I remembered. And you know he was just engaging, and, but you know when you think that he would all take us after a royal tour to the pub, all the media, and pay the bill, and now all he does at the end of a tour is announce that he's going to sue a newspaper. After a very successful tour, you have to tell yourself who's advising him, who's telling him. Certainly not Buckingham Palace, certainly not Clarence House. Only be one person and that's Megan. Stop. Stop.